Yo, did I not get any stickers with this Holly shit? Did that seriously happen? Yo, no way. There's gotta be a sticker here somewhere, right? I'm just missing it. So we're going to tear into our little fuel cell. We got our eBay tank. This is a 15 gallon tank. It's really shallow and that's the whole reason I went with this thing. The problem is, is that our Holly drop-in says it needs a six inches of, uh, or six and a half inches of depth. And we're only at six here, so we might have to modify some things. But uh, this is what we want to do for what we got to go on. So go ahead and get the Holly uh, pump put in there and see if we can't make it work. So you'll notice it does have these uh, spots to hook up. It was a top feed tank. And for what I'm doing, this just wasn't really gonna work, but it was the perfect size for what I wanted to do. So that's why we got it. Oh, God damn. That rubber is on there. That's a nice seal. We'll hold on to that. And then down in our tank, wow, for a nice new tank, it has a ton of metal shavings and shit in it. That's uncool. All kinds of crap in there, actually. Yeah, you guys can see all the crap in there. Yeah, so our hosing situation is going to have to be played with, obviously. And then our depth mounting is going to have to be played with. And you can tell they're designed to be chopped down right there. We're just gonna have to chop them down even more. Wow, I'm glad I played with these. These clamps are not even tight. So yeah, if you get one of these, definitely check all the clamps. Because they're not tight. I have, oh shoot. It's deeper than I thought, gave it credit for. I have seven inches of depth. To the top where does seven oh, okay so i misspoke it needs seven and a half inches of depth and this is a seven so like i said not the end of the world because we will literally just take a little bit more off we already gotta i mean technically you're just supposed to snap that off and then it goes to wherever but i think it's going to be better and cleaner if i unscrew these because i'm pretty sure they thread right there and uh, cut them off clean with the chop saw. But what I want to know is that if I run my pumps, let's say up to there, yeah, that becomes concerning. So give or take right there. I don't know why I'm doing this. You and I both know we gotta cut this down. So, let's go ahead and take that off. And set it over yond hair. I really like about how modular this thing is. Like, really like it. I mean, for the price, I got it on holiday special, so it was like four sixty six. I mean, for what you paid for two wall uh, for two four fifties, and this all you know the kit that goes with it. I mean, you can't really beat that, man. All right, so what I could do if I didn't want to um, basically modify these, which believe me, I have no qualms about. I don't, I don't care about modifying these at all. I'm totally about to cut them. Um, but if I didn't, I would just put spacers but I don't care so you guys have seen me cut things before there's no need to watch me do that again and then I'm probably gonna need some dinner too so I'm gonna cut these when you see me come back I'll probably be dropping this thing in to see how it fits all right so we got these cut down 
They are, uh, one's a little shorter than the other, but that won't really matter for what we're doing. They look nice. We'll do just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and thread them back in. This is where I gotta do some, some measuring. Cause right now, we are, we'll say seven to the top. So I want, Filled through the element to be right at seven. I'm not tightening it all the way. Just enough. Because there's a gasket that needs to go into. See, I'm definitely touching. I don't think that gasket's quite tall enough. One right here. Yep, okay. Should be damn near perfect for this setup now. All right, a little bit of gap down there, and we'll be fine. Perfect. It's actually going to end up happening. Is this going to go just like so? All right, that doesn't leave me with a lot of room. So I wanted, was thinking about putting a different line on. However, comma. The problem is I have to get the special plastic type so that I don't mess up the uh, you know so it's compatible with E85 I'm not don't know if I'm gonna do a E85 anytime but oh wow I don't know if they did that on purpose or not but that's pretty awesome so that can go up into there. Pretty sure I can make this work. All right, so we've got it all mounted up. We got a return line, which goes in, I guess, like that. It's about the only way it's gonna go in. It takes it down to the bottom of the tank, drops our fuel right in next to our pumps, which is nice. Our pumps are right where they need to be. Our fuel lines are well, I'd like them to be better, but they're good enough. There's no super crazy bends. This one's tight, but not ridiculously tight. Um, so yeah, I think we're doing all right. And now we just need to uh, figure out how we're doing this ring and stuff. So I perused the destructions, which apparently want me to drill a hole here and here in my tank in order to zip tie this. I'm not gonna lie, at first I kinda thought this was pretty cheesy of a way to do this. But after playing with it a bit and trying to think of a better way, not really coming up with anything. Um, <laughs> you know, like, I'm not seeing a way that goes, ah, oh, that would have been a way easier way to do it than this way. to the point it doesn't. <sighs> Welcome to Extreme Guestinations.
I never read the instructions. So let's cut it one inch shorter than the measurement taken. All right, so because I didn't pay attention to the instructions, because you know, why would I? We're gonna pull this back out of the tank again. The instructions are good, okay. You should read them before. Oh man, come on, stop that. Okay. My sending unit's good. All right, now we do this for the last time. This week. Or today. that the tank has and obviously still the sending unit. We capped off the return and uh, pickup tubes because those are obviously obsolete on this model. And then for the time being, we just have some plugs capping this off so we don't get any crap in the tank, but uh, she's done. You've got your own uh, gra dedicated ground and dedicated power for each pump. The one pump is, I believe it was, um, white and green and red and black are your two different pumps it was a good little bit of work as you saw but i mean realistically not that bad at all and like i said for what i have uh into it i mean realistically i'm in it 466 dollars plus tax into the dual wobbler 450 pumps which should be plenty to get me you know where i want to go on pump gas and maybe a little e85 down the road we'll see how we do with that and then i think i spent a hundred bucks on the fuel cell um which you know isn't the end of the world there is no uh mounting tabs on this but i'm not too concerned about that because what i'm actually going to end up doing is i'll do a, um a l channel basically I'll, you know for it to sit in and then i'll take rubber line that and then do a couple of straps on the tank and that should hold it in just fine shouldn't have any issues with that but once i get my parts in for the rear end i'll be able to put that in but it's all wired up and good to go for now so appreciate you guys checking in and uh keeping an eye on what's going on with this project and make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one